Eh. Of course, my Cowboys would lose. They always manage to mess up. So what can I say? We do, we do Cowboys things. I don't even feel like looking up the other things. All I care about is how miserable I am about my Cowboys right now. Well, that's not entirely true. I mean, I'll probably still try and do a quick look. Hey, I'll, I'll get up and stuff right now. Why not? Honestly, I'm kind of running late here doing this. Kind of procrastinated staying in bed this morning. But, you know, I got a you know decent amount of sleep. That's, that's cool. Sleep is important. Not going to question that. So while I'm waiting for this to load, I guess we can get into, um, well, listen, I just talked about how my Cowboys lost. That is my low, no questions asked. So, let's see. Mm -hmm. I can just simply find, here we go. I'm pretty sure it's the Vikings and, Vikings, Vikings and Pack, oh, no. It's the Steelers and Browns. You know what? That game is going to be a watch to watch. So, you know what? I'm just going to say the Steelers. I'm probably going to be wrong, but I don't care. Let's see. I was right about the Bears. I was right about the Patriots. I was right about the Rams. I was right about the Bucks. Right about the Bills. Wrong about the Chiefs, surprisingly. Oh, wrong about the Bengals, what do you mean? Go Bengals. Right about the Titans. Right about the, oh, I was, uh, oh, shoot, I forgot. <clears throat> the autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea. With a rollicking song, he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is one of the, he wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. Seriously, like NFL and like the Las Vegas Raiders, I could totally do that chant for you. How at your boy? I, seriously, I know it by heart. Seriously. Right now, I'm just looking at the games right now. There's like no, there's like no script of that in front of me whatsoever. I could legit do that for you. And I'll probably do it at a much fairer price than what you originally paid the old guy to do it. So, seriously, Raiders, how about your boy? Yeah, I know I'm a Cowboys fan, but still, I just really, well, I really, I just really like good poetry and The Autumn Wind is a pretty good poem. It actually is a um a parody of um the of the original The Pirate's Wind, I believe. But hey, it's still a good poem. Plus I especially like the knock you round upside down part. But that, that part's awesome. Anyway, um Let's see. Yeah, of course the Eagles won. Stupid Eagles. Chargers won. I was right about that. Right about the Niners. Of course, it'd be wrong about the Seahawks. Very wrong about the Cardinals. Right about the Saints. And extremely right about the Packers. So again, I'm just picking the Steelers to win. So, there you go. Actually, in preparation of this video, I wanted to think about something that was going to cheer me up. And there is a One Piece manga chat. And... The next One Piece manga chapter is going to be released today, and I'll be doing the reaction tomorrow. But as I was thinking about One Piece, you know, I was beginning to think about how, um, you know, specifically the character designs, because for those of you who don't know, there are lots of characters in One Piece that are actually based on real life figures. I say this because one of the more famous examples would be uh, NL, or Enru, Actually looks like my all-time favorite rapper, Eminem. Seriously, look it up, it's true. But another really famous one is actually in the main cast in the Straw Hat Pirates. Specifically Frankie. And um if you're an ace if you're a if you're a Jim Carrey fan, you'll you'll appreciate what I'm about to say here. But Frankie's design 
was actually based on Ace Ventura. Pet Detective. And then it occurred to me, it's been a good while since I did the movies of my youth. And before I continue, yeah, I know. Critics were kind of harsh to these movies, but they have gained a cult following. And what can I say? I actually find these movies quite quotable. So, I might talk about the Ace Ventura movies. Another thing I should probably explain is Jim Carrey is not one of my favorite actors, but I do like him. He really does seem like a nice guy. And I never really heard anything bad about him, so I mean, just, you know, the movies, the movies that he's in are kind of not the greatest. I mean, they each have been, he's been in good movies. I mean, Dumb and, the original Dumb and Dumber, the Ace Ventura movies, which I'm about to talk about, obviously. Um, the Mask, of course. In fact, full disclosure, all three of those movies came out in the same year. And each one of them were number one at the box office. The first Ace Ventura movie was anyway. All three of, all three movies were number one at the box office. Making it the first time ever, and I'm pretty sure the only time ever, that one actor had three movies come out within the span of a year, and they were on the one box office. So, say whatever you want about Jim Carrey, but he's definitely doing something right when you get that kind of accolade. I'm just saying. But, yeah, it's been a while, because here's the thing. I never saw the first... Ace Ventura movie until many years after it was released. I remember seeing trailers for the second one, Ace Ventura 2 and Nature Calls, but I remember I grew up in a relatively conservative household and my parents didn't really care much for Jim Carrey. That's fine, he's not really for everyone. So needless to say, the possibility of seeing those movies flew out the window from the very beginning. I actually did finally see the first Ace Ventura movie with um, my uncle and my two cousins out in Massachusetts. We spent the afternoon watching it. And I remember really liking it. I didn't laugh out loud. However, to this day, between both Ace Ventura Pet Detective and Ace Ventura 2 and Nature Calls, I mean, what can I say? These movies are actually very, very quotable. I mean, you have Ace Ventura 2. Ah, 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 ah. And, uh, you know, the very, you know, the, the very beginning of the movie where he's doing a slinky all the way down that gigantic flight of stairs. <laughs> okay, come on. Like, oh, you were so close. I, that was, that, that's actually, it's both. I mean, what can I say? Suffering is a part of comedy, and that actually is a really, that is a pretty decent form of suffering. And, uh, well, oh, well, if it isn't the Monopoly guy, and that's the second one, then not as good as the first one, you know? So, there you go. Although, um, the first one, if you don't know, it's about how, um, the Miami Dolphins have this dolphin that can actually hit a field goal, right? And that was going to be their halftime show. But somebody steals the dolphin, and so they get Ace Ventura to try and, you know, find the dolphin. In the second one, I think it has something to do with a white bat. It's been a while since I've seen, you know, that one. But there you go. But... Obviously, the first one is the one I gravitate more towards because that is the one I have seen all the way through. And I do remember liking and quoting. I mean, do I even need to say Lace is out? I mean, it's, you know what? Lace is out is the You're Killing Me Smalls of the Ace Ventura movies. I, you know what? I will call it that. I'm calling it right here now. Lace is out is the You're Killing Me Smalls of the Ace Ventura movies. Somebody try and change my mind. Anyway, um, now put better. 
probably in the description somewhere, whatever. And I'm sure, I mean, there's a lot of really great scenes. I mean, not to mention growing up, I had a crush on Courtney Cox. So needless to say, she was fine. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even watch, I didn't really watch Friends, but when I first saw, you know, that the first Ace Ventura movie, that was my first introduction to Courtney Cox. And again, she was fine. And also fine. And her acting was good too. Anyway, um, that, that's a joke. She, oh, she is, she is a very pretty woman. She still is, actually. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm completely getting off track here. But, um, if anyone knows me, I'm sure right now you're probably wondering what my favorite mo mo moment from the first Ace Ventura movie is. You know what? For you guys, I'm gonna act out. Hold on a second. Let me make sure I get this out of the way real fast. Well, I, have not, I want have nothing to be able to stand. My favorite moment, my favorite movie moment from the Ace Ventura movies? Only this. I love that part. That part always gets to me. Because that's exactly the sort of thing I would do in real life myself if I was part of an investigation. What can I say? I mean, yeah, Ace Ventura can't. I mean, Ace Ventura, they're, they're funny movies. They are kind of guilty pleasures for me, but not guilty where I feel ashamed of talking. I mean, if I was legit guilty of talking about them, I wouldn't be doing this video, I can assure you. So, there's merit to these movies, and they are really funny. Um, I was gonna say, Jim Carrey can kind of be a polarizing figure. Kind of like, he's basically Will Ferrell if he was a little bit more animated. Like, with Will Ferrell, the problem is the director never yells cut in any of his movies. That's why the joke drags on too long, and that's why Will Ferrell isn't very funny. Jim Carrey, his problem is, well, it can be, it's a little too much for what he's trying to do to make a joke work. I mean, there's literally a scene of him in the first Ace Ventura movie where they're at a mental asylum, and he's legit acting out like a lot of like, great sports quotes, like, put me in, coach, I'm ready. Like, he didn't need to wear the ballerina tutu for it. Although I will admit, that outfit was really funny. But he didn't need it. He could have acted out that scene with that, and the scene would have worked just fine. But again, that's, you know, personal preference. And again, it's funny. So I can't really complain about that. Um, needless to say, if you're a Jim Carrey fan, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are, you know, obviously they're worth watching. And keep in mind, I'm trying not to say too much about these movies so as, you know, not to accidentally, you know, spoil the endings. Especially when easily one of the most repeated quotes of the first movie happens near the end. If you guys know, then you know. I'm not going to give it away here. Let's just say, considering who this character was and the payoff, it's, yeah, it's worth it. Not going to give it away here, though. I, I, I couldn't give that away. So, just take my word for it. It really is, it really is, you know, rather funny. Is there anything else I can say? Well, I guess I could probably also talk a little bit about the Ace Ventura cartoon. Because, yeah, it actually had a cartoon spinoff. Just like The Mask did, actually. And, sure enough, both of those shows are great. You know what? I think I'll probably get around to doing The Mask and Dumb and Dumber at some point. I should. I really ought to. So, be on the lookout for those. 
But for now, I think of all of the Jim Carrey, of the characters that Jim Carrey has ever played. And he actually has played a lot of, I mean, he's Dr. Eggman in the Sonic the Hedgehog movies. And a lot of people say that was his return to form from back when he did stuff like Ace Ventura and The Mask. So, actually I should get around to watching the first Sonic movie. They actually hear it's pretty good. Even though I still can't believe they didn't get Roger Craig Smith to be the voice of Sonic. Or Jason Griffith. Heck, even Julia White would be fine. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Ben Schwartz, but come on, they still could have done like a real legit voiceover actor. Not that Ben Schwartz is, I mean, he was, he was Dewey on the DuckTales reboot, so. And he was also Leonardo in Rise of the Teenage Ninja Turtles. So it's not like Ben Schwartz doesn't have experience with voiceover. I just would have rather seen, again, guys like Roger Craig Smith or Jason Griffith or, again, even Julia White would have been fine. I'm getting ahead of myself. But, yeah, the Ace Ventura movies, they are definitely stupid, for sure. But of all the characters that Jim Carrey's ever played, I think Ace Ventura might be my favorite one. So, uh, take that with what you will. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to YouTube. I'm your homie, it's video for all you guys watching. Enjoy your name. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. And remember, you guys want to talk to us, we'll be here to let me know. I'll be back. Take care and make good choices. Happy Monday.